Brandon Hamer coming to you with this week's Bushel Up. And uh, we took last week off for the 4th of July. Hope everyone had a good uh, holiday. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of warned you we'd probably have a lot to talk about when we got back here. And, and that is the case. We're seeing a lot of tassels start to pop, uh, a lot of insect activity. So we'll get right to it. First of all, um, starting to shed some pollen. Uh, we kind of right on cue. We predicted it'd be July 10th to that July 15th window. Uh, starting to see some fungicide, uh, tassel fungicide applications go on with the airplanes. Uh, we did some work with, with drones and airplanes last week on our fields uh, as we're starting to see those tassels pop. Uh, insects are right on time, uh, actually behind me. We're not quite tasseling here at Aurora. This is our later field, uh, but I've got some rootworm beetles hanging out, skeletonizing on some leaves here, just waiting for those silks to pop uh, so they can start feeding on those. So. Uh, Seeing a big hatch of, of rootworm beetles, uh, survival is very good for them. Uh, we've talked about the pressure, so that's probably our first and foremost concern. Uh, make sure if you're making a trip across the fungicide, you understand where you're at on beetle populations. Uh, try to time that up. Uh, we also look at western bean cutworm, timing up those applications with western bean cutworm. Uh, been seeing some moth flights uh, from the university traps down at Clay Center. Uh, we found some egg masses last week, uh, found a few moths I stumbled across here this morning. So uh, we know they're out there, uh, probably on the front side activity, but uh, when you look at your insecticide uh, application, make sure you pick something that's got a little residual. Obviously we need that knockdown, uh, but we're looking at some of those products with a little longer residual, especially with corn rootworm beetle. Uh, the problems we've had are the extended hatch uh, coming out of the ground, uh, we, we like those uh, products like a steward uh, that give us uh, 21 days residual to, uh, to knock those beetles down. Uh, we look at the uh, soybean complex, uh, a lot of stuff on soybeans. I'll actually have a side video where we show some insects uh, from up at Central City that we'll uh, attach a link to. Uh, seeing a lot of Japanese beetles now hitting the soybeans, hitting the uh, kind of the broadleaf plants. Uh, you look at, uh, we found uh, quite a few stem borer uh, adults out there, so uh, we can pick a few of those off now. Also looking at stink bug, uh, along with some grasshopper activity moving in off the margins of fields. So uh, when you're putting those fungicide applications on, we, we don't like to just say blindly put an insecticide in, uh, but make sure you're scouting your fields because nine times out of 10, you will benefit from that insecticide application. When we look at nutrition, uh, we're putting BMO in, especially as we get ready to uh, shed pollen. Uh, boron helping with pollen uh, shed and viability. Uh, we like the molybdenum in there as well, just to help with nitrogen removal in the plant. Uh, we're just trying to make that plant efficient. Um, also, uh, we'll be doing a little bit of fertigation where we have that uh, opportunity here, uh, getting some of those later shots of nitrogen on as we go into our, our peak usage. Uh, those of you out there, if you haven't pulled a tissue test, now's a good time to uh, do some spot checks. Just see where you're at going into uh, this reproductive stage. Uh, we've been watching ours closely, just monitoring how's our soil fertility program doing, uh, where are we at on certain levels. So a lot of things going on. There's a lot to be watching for. Fortunately, uh, majority of the area's caught some rain. We've been able to take a few days break from irrigation here. Uh, just remember, uh, as we look at soybeans going into uh, into a reproductive stage and corn, we don't want to short for water. That now is not the time to stress. So uh, when it comes time to start those wells and pivots back up, make sure you're, you're ready to go. So uh, with that, if you got any questions, please reach out to us. Uh, we look forward to uh, continuing to, to scout fields. I've had time to get out the last week and, and look around a lot of the countryside. There's a lot of good uh, things that happen for the guys that were really on top of it. Um, we're seeing some good, good looking fields. Uh, we also see some challenges where maybe we were a little late to water um, but overall, I think the potential is good out here. Uh, we just got to stay after it.